why do I feel like next year's uh, uh, shot is going to be a choose your own adventure? You know, COVID, monkeypox, flu, this, this, the other thing. If you have that, turn to page 46. Right. I trust everyone is, is well or well as can be and uh, getting ready for the spooky season, which is coming up around here, enjoying the start of autumn. It's pretty spooky outside my house right now. I'll bet. Here it's clear skies, is he? Gotcha. Everybody oh, here had to pull up their Halloween decorations. The governance, if we didn't pull them up, they'd be blowing all over the place. And then, you know, you get all the encroachment uh, ARs and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to bounce out here with just a quick, uh, I guess, uh, announcement. Um, we uh, <clears throat> did, uh, you probably have already read about it, uh, we acquired Casper Tech, at least for Second Life Operations. Um, as you're probably aware, Casper Tech has provided uh, business-related services with NSL for about 13 years, uh, primarily focused on rental and shopping systems. And uh, by acquiring it, we're ensuring that uh, all the existing Casper Tech services in Second Life will continue to operate without interruption as they are into the foreseeable future. Um, it'll also have some new opportunities for to vastly improve the experience for those who do use Casper Tech and Second Life. Um, for now, of course, you can expect the same great services you know and love from, uh, with all the same functionality you enjoy today. Uh, but we'll be working towards closer integration into the Second Life ecosystem, and uh, presumably, as such, uh, even more reliable and convenient experience. I think that, uh, Vix, did you just post the link to the uh, discussion on that? I did, yes. Thank you. There's a discussion in the forums on it. If you have any other questions or concerns, uh, you can go ahead and uh, take them there and presumably get a good response. I don't know if anyone else has any questions or concerns about that before we go forward. And yes, for those of you who may be new to the meeting or whatnot, uh, Izzy and Fix and I will all be on voice. Uh, you do not have to use voice if you don't want to. You can type in questions, comments. Um, we'll respond either way. So, just so you know.
Yeah, I totally understand that, Dragon Lady. Um, I know that um, in my time as a resident, I've gone through a couple of vending systems myself and uh, um, have used Casper as well as others. And Adam, I believe they're working that out. They've, uh, I know that uh, Casper's contacted their people about uh, GDPR. Um, so we'll see what's happening. And yeah, Teresa, um, there hasn't been any changes on it um, over the new ownership. Um, I would presume that uh, there will not be any, at least uh, short term. Anything that does come up might be to, you know, integrate it better with what we have. Um, but not to harm functionality, that kind of thing. Real quickly, just uh, while we're transitioning to the next topic, I just wanted to mention, uh, especially because a lot of you deal with a lot of new residents, uh, I recently came across a bug. Now, it, this could be a case of where it's old hat to all of you guys, um, uh, and it just is the first time I had come across it. But if you ever find a uh, resident that complains to you that, and they're using our viewer, which I know, okay, now you guys are all like, ah, none of us use that viewer, so it doesn't matter. But if they're not seeing the options for me, avatar, communicate, world, build, help, et cetera, in the Second Life viewer, check the little search bubble where it says search menus. They probably uh, left something typed in there and they need to X that out because it's affecting the different menus here. Honestly, I don't know why we have uh, a search menus field because Frankly, you could just click around, but I just wanted to let you guys know that that's uh, uh, one of the things that has come across uh, my desk recently is uh, apparently that doesn't clear out uh, once you've run the search anymore. It stays there uh, and you have to specifically exit out uh, to be able to get all your uh, options again. So if you go up to that little search bubble and type in like the in this instance, if somebody had the word robot typed in there, they could no longer see anything else on that top bar. Moving on to news, uh, the Wall Street Journal has released their first of a four-part podcast series on building metaverse, uh, focusing on Second Life and our storied history. You can go ahead and find the first and second episodes of the uh, Wall Street Journal podcast here. I haven't started listening <clears throat> listening to it yet, but um, it's definitely on my uh, safe podcast list. Yeah, I've gone through some of it as well. It's really, really a fascinating series. I can't wait to see the or listen to the next two parts. Oh, not offended at all, Teresa. I mean, again, use whatever viewer you're comfortable with, happy with. Um, part of what we're doing is providing choices by having ours and there being any number of third party at this point. So it's all the better. Everything that gets you in here allows you to enjoy the world is good. Absolutely. I feel the same way. should note that Philip Rosdale was participating in this podcast.
I don't know Tuva, at least not yet. I I don't not aware of any numbers on that, but uh, I certainly hope so. Sure, hope we see more people. Why not? And moving along, uh, a few weeks ago, uh, you guys might have been aware of a display name issue that we had uh, that appears to be fixed. Uh, so any new issues you see coming up uh, regarding your display name, uh, go ahead and reach out to support. And we'll take a look. Oh, I have a question when questions come. Um, I've been having a lot of issues lately with uh, group chats, and I was wondering oh, if uh, anything's being done on that. Um, I can answer that. Um, I know that uh, there is work being done um, right now um, this week. Uh, they have spotted a couple of issues. You're having problems like uh, the chat will time out or it won't open, that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, like swallowing messages. Yes. Or you you type something in, it gets lost, but then the next thing you type in works. Yeah, um, yeah. That is something that is being looked at right now. Um, I was talking with uh, one of the devs about it about uh, two hours ago. So they are aware of it, and it is being worked on. Great, Hopefully thank you. Hopefully it will be used soon. Sure. And yes, anyone, if you have questions, feel free to jump in with them, uh, either in text or in chat. Naya, Teresa, how often do you guys clear your group cache? Um, who's you guys? Are you talking about Firestorm? No, or no, are you talking about in a group that you're starting to have issues with? Uh, I didn't even know it was possible to clear a group cache, uh, but most of the groups that I've been seeing issues in, I'm not necessarily the admin for them. I am with some of the Firestorm groups, but not with groups like Dulles Area Citizens or um, some of the shopping groups and stuff. How do you clear a cache, uh, group cache? This is more on your side rather than the group itself, but advanced clear group cache is where you would go ahead and clear. Advanced. Then clear group cache. Almost to the bottom. Uh, let's see. Mouse city. Oh, I see. I didn't even know that existed. Thank you. My pleasure. It won't fix everything um, because of the fact that, you know, it's again help, it, making sure that if something isn't getting stuck on your side. But if it's only happening to you and you've got, you know, a lot of groups and stuff like that, that's just something kind of like restarting your computer if it starts doing odd things or slowing down kind of a deal. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not the only one with the group chat issues right now. 
Right. And when it's a larger issue, it may or may not have an effect, but just something I figured could tie in a little bit so I'd make sure you guys were aware. Well, thanks for telling me about it. That's that's a new one I just learned. Anytime. I'd like to put in for some more mole work in Zindra. Res zones, road repair, that kind of thing. You can submit a support ticket, um, usually under land, other land issues, or land, I believe there's an LDPW uh, option in there. Uh, just give specific swirls and uh, what it is that you think uh, needs to happen. Um, if it's suggestions, it'll probably get added to a list. Um, but if it's, you know, something that's, you know, broken or something like that, it'll usually get uh, bumped higher up on that list. But we take all sorts of suggestions. It's more of a policy issue in that um, the, the roads in Kama City are almost undrivable, and none of the red, red zones in Zinder are marked. And that would be something of a policy change to sort of bring them up to Bolas area standards. I can't speak to um, how it would be uh, dealt with, but I don't see any objection to actually getting your submission and, uh, you know, taking a look at it. Um, as far as how much you want to put into it would be up to you, but uh, my suggestion would be to maybe put maybe five swirls um of you know common ones that you want to see updated mention you know it's affecting all of the red zones in zindra but these are some of the major ones to use as an example kind of deal just to give uh the ldpw guys something to start with uh and they it may be something that they'll be able to tackle soon or it may have to get put on a list uh for eventual but it never hurts to bring it to our attention no, I realize that. It's more that uh, I wasn't clear on how much, whether it's policy to sort of neglect Zinder or not. I don't know if no, any policy not. that says neglect Zinder. Yeah. That's definitely. All the appropriate, I will file the appropriate documents. Pantera, that's actually a really neat um, possible um, feature request is to have like a, a map overlay that would allow uh, us to show things like red zones or other such features. We currently have um, some things that show on the map, such as, you know, info hubs and land for sale. So something like that would be great. Um, and to do that, uh, you would have to uh, file that on the JIRA at uh, JIRA, J-I-R-A, JIRA.SecondLife.com. Um, select bug from the top and then new feature request um, and send that in because I really like that one. I would love to see more functionality like that on the map. I'm glad you aren't. A lot of people are scared of it. Yeah, and the difference between the previous uh, suggestion and this one is that's more of a user interface, so that's why it would have to go be a JIRA than a ticket. Yeah, much more of the, the devs need to code that up. Uh, Desiree, yes, um, it will eventually clear, and if you see one that hasn't cleared recently or you've done some updates and you want to see that updated quicker, um, contact us and support uh, either via live chat or ticket, you know, all the usual routes, and um, we'll see if that gets uh, updated a little bit quicker just in case.
Tuvok. Uh, I am aware of that. Uh, actually, I think we all are. Um, there is uh, first off update your viewer um, because we do have some fixes out there for that that should help solve that problem for you. Uh, and that's both ours and Firestorm. I think others as well have updated. So start with that. Um, and that should help quell that particular beast. Oh, that's never fun, uh, Joe. Um, and with those, yeah, please, please AR them. Let us know um, so that we can get those cleaned up and stop bothering people. Yeah, I hear you, Joe. Sometimes it does tend to be a little whack-a-mole, I suppose, but uh, governance uh, does a pretty good job of keeping up on those as they make new stuff, I'm sure. Larry, I see that more often happen uh, during like rolling restarts and everything where people have their bot set to auto try to log back in. And then, of course, a region that they're supposed to go to is offline. So they get shunted over to some other region. Um, but outside of that kind of an instance, definitely abuse report them. Liz, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Um, I don't really think that we've ever really kept to a lowest common denominator type of uh, approach. Uh, but if you want to either meet afterwards or submit a ticket or delve into it further, I'm more than happy to. I just would need a lot more information before I could really approach an answer for that.
As far as uh, the destination guide, I would say email editors at uh, lindenlab.com. <clears throat> Actually, I think it's editors at secondlife.com, sorry. Uh, and um, uh, ask the question that you've got there, and they can go ahead and uh, see if it's uh, something that they can approach with you. Uh, I think voice is still good. Voice is still good.
Yeah, Teresa, I think we were discussing the uh, the bots here in the uh, text. But I'm going to also bring up another topic while we're at it. Um, the uh, We did recently announce uh, our puppetry beta viewer. Um, Alexa Lee, uh, Linden teased some of the possibilities on our blog. Um, it's a potential to change a lot of the ways we interact in world. Um, for example, it would allow those of us on stage right now to interact far more fluidly than we can now, gesturing and so forth. Um, at current, it's still a little rough. Um, it's available only on the beta grid and only after adding some key libraries to the puppetry beta viewer. Um, you all can see all the vital details on that. Yeah, the uh, Earl is just up there or at this one. Um, and yes, actually, you could, Adam. Uh, um, I mean, that is a potential. Um, although I don't intend to be up here picking my nose. So, but um, it really looks exciting. I mean, it's something that I think adds a ton of expression to the avatar. Um, just to be able to, to gesture while you talk or, you know, point to something without using a, a pre-programmed gesture, that kind of thing. So I do recommend looking at that if you're technolo technologically interested and advanced in it. Um, you know, take a look at it. It's kind of cool. Teresa, it's actually something that was on our, our roadmap uh, for this year uh, to work on. And it's uh, started actually as a project that one, one London started to uh, uh, to put together on their own and then became a much broader, broader project for the company. So it's not as a reaction to anything anyone else is doing per se, other than they saw a possibility and started to follow it. It's actually a couple of one of a couple of things we're working on right now because we've also got uh, work going on for some advanced materials work with reflections, um, but uh, I don't think we have anything up on that quite yet. Or at least not much, but uh, we've got a few things in the hopper right now, which is kind of nice. Yeah, it's great that you guys have new projects, uh, but I hope you're also putting some effort into fixing some of these annoying bugs. Like, for instance, uh, you go to look, you know, where somebody is on, um, you know, like local, you know, like it says they're standing next to you, but they're not being drawn because there's some weird SO bug that puts them at zero, zero, zero for your viewer. Um, things like that is, is annoying. And, um, there's a lot of issues with, uh, rendering mesh where it just sort of kind of like disappears after a while and you have to relog to see it again and it would be nice to get you know some stability in some of the basic features too oh yeah i know that the uh the mesh one that you mentioned um is one that has been worked on recently and is continuing to be worked on um there's been a couple of different issues with that as far as like you know not being able to see when you log in i know that that's been largely taken care of but there's still a little, couple little things they're working on with that um the zero 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 bug that's actually been around for a while and that can often be um when an avatar sits it wants to uh uh measure their position from the zero point um but uh that's a good one to look into i haven't seen anything recently on it so i'll poke guys about it um there's actually a lot of work that goes on. Um, most of the work that happens in a week is is bug fixing. I know that we've had a couple of them recently, or uh, you know, fighting with some new exploit issues. Um, so, in fact, uh, I think I'll make uh, I think I'll talk a little bit about uh, some of the inventory stuff that we're working on right now because that's also working on some some bug issues um, that have been coming up. And I'd like to talk about that, too. Um, 
I think we mentioned it last month. We've been doing some inventory work. I uh, wanted to touch on that. Uh, we've been doing some proactive reach out right now um, to a small number of residents about their inventories. We've located a few that are uh, particularly flat, and we want to help change that for everyone's benefit, uh, both for theirs certainly, but for everyone overall. Um, and in case you weren't here last month or aren't, don't know what a flat inventory is specifically, um, let me fill in on that. Um, it's not necessarily a large inventory, um, but it is an inventory that is flat, where all the items are, you know, like in a single folder or, in, you know, filling large folders, especially the top, my inventory folder. Um, yeah, several several objects in one folder, and again, especially at the top level. Um, and when you have a flat inventory, it can lead to login issues. It can give you a lot of other troubles, troubles with teleporting, troubles with locating your objects in your inventory, trouble with inventory not loading. Um, and we want to try to help with that. Uh, we've been doing some back-end work on that, but we also were working on some you know, uh, like I said, a couple hundred that we've spotted that are especially flat that we want to really look at. Um, if you are one of those few hundred, um, you'll receive an email from us, or you may have already received it this week or over the last month. Um, you won't, uh, if you aren't, you won't get a notice, you won't see any change, nothing will happen for you. Um, if you are, we will be doing some uh, proactive reorganization on some of your item, uh, we'll explain that in the email. Um, one thing, of course, I want to stress on that as well is that no inventory will actually be deleted. Um, nothing will be lost. Um, and again, it might help your inventory load a little quicker and more complete. Um, I, there, there isn't actually a maximum recommended inventory size. Uh, which is actually part of the problem, I suppose. But um, we generally do not limit the amount of items that people can have. And we've seen inventories uh, into the seven digits. Um, however, like anything else, the smaller it is, and perhaps more important, the way it's organized um, will help. Yeah, I mean... Uh, you can have 100,000 items and not have problems, and you could have 30,000 and have issues because, you know, it's all sitting on your top my inventory or whatnot. So really, yeah, like you just said, Joe, it's more of a per folder, especially that top level. Because when you log in, your top level of your inventory is one of the things that loads um, as well as your friends list, everything that's around you, everything that's on your avatar, all of these things. So the less items that are on that, overall, the better off you'll be. To clarify that one, it is mostly affecting you, uh, but the thing is, Anything that affects you where the system's having to constantly send you information to better allow you to uh, go ahead and uh, load all of your stuff can eventually affect, you know, uh, those around you in that the system's having to continually repeat what it's trying to send to you, uh, but mostly it affects you. Teresa, that's a great example. Um, I'm probably in a similar boat uh, with, you know, somewhere in the hundred to 200,000. But uh, like I was kind of joking about before, uh, my OCD really helps in that and that I have, you know, a, fo a, a clothing folder and then I've got all the different holidays. And then in, in that I've got things broken down even further and even further um, for, for, for objects. I've got furniture, I've got this, I've got that, you know, and then everything kind of broken down further so the more you subdivide things into uh subfolders and organize things uh probably the less inventory issues that you'll have whereas if you have a shoes folder and i've seen a shoes folder with over 10 no with over a thousand uh pairs of shoes in it 
um, that's where it starts causing an issue, especially like Wendy was saying, it, the further up toward the top that those um, oh, big, big uh, bloated folders are, the more of an effect that it'll have. To an extent, Naya, um, but again, organizing even further from that would help all the more. Um, it would certainly help at least for, for login. But even as simple as, you know, taking all the clothing and putting it in one folder, all the furniture in one folder, all the other objects in another folder um, will start uh, helping that because then the next time maybe they tackle the clothing folder and they put all the jackets in one subfolder of the clothing folder and all the pants in one subfolder, uh, et cetera. So that way they're eventually building uh, a better organizational system. I feel like give or take 15 minutes yet, so if there's uh, any other questions, comments, concerns uh, that we can cover, please feel free to bring them up. Which reunion place? This was actually built, I believe, by Molly Linden back in the day. Take a look. If you look at the... Uh, if you right click on any of the parts around here, you'll see that uh, the creator and owner is Molly Linden, except from the chairs that we're in, which Patch owns. So, yes. There are a few places out there you'll find that are they're Linden built, but uh, a lot of infrastructure is actually handled by the Linden Department of Public Works, which is a uh, a team of contractors that that work with us, uh, resident builders. That's great to hear, Adam. Uh, we don't have any news, Kay, uh, regarding the mobile viewer right now. 
but I know when things uh, uh we have anything ready to share it will will be the first to uh I won't say we might not be able to but we'll definitely be bringing it up here as a topic Agreed, Desiree. There are some some classic builds that I love to revisit over and over. The uh, the Beanstalk being one of them. Uh, the Governor's Mansion. There's a number of them, and there's a lot of really great new ones that I love. Any other questions or uh, comments out there? Jump on in. Actually, I would have maybe a question that I did ask about like nine or eight months ago. Um, since there was the new um, the new premium that came out, uh, uh, I, I want to questions? ask: uh, are, are you guys are planning to make any double prims uh, parcels on the mainland soon? Are you speaking specifically about Linden Homes or just uh, uh, regions that have more prim availability? Like regions like uh, like they had at uh, uh, Nova Albion, uh, you know, uh, double prim parcels. I don't know of currently any plans to expand on that, but we're always looking at different things to do, so it's not impossible. I just don't know that currently on the roadmap, but I can definitely bring that to my team and, uh, you know, see what's possible. Yeah, that would be really cool, really. Yeah. Yeah, I know those are always very popular. Yeah. Then thank you. <laughs> my pleasure. Liz, have you checked out the um, the new uh, new user areas? Uh, those were just updated a couple of uh, months ago. Might be worth uh, taking a look at them, seeing what we're doing there. It's all about that uh, foam finger governance.
Hey, Joe, I'm not sure what partnering with a premium membership is. Do you mean gifting by chance? Which is a thing? Right, yes, uh, gifting a premium membership to another resident is definitely a thing. Um, we have a few minutes here, but I want to go ahead and uh, send you this article that talks more about how to gift a premium membership and the steps involved. But we can definitely make that happen. Step one, send one million Linden dollars to Izzy Linden. Step two. Teresa, I can definitely say that the concept of a la carte uh, options uh, for memberships is definitely something that's in discussion. That wasn't exactly what I was saying. A la carte implies I would have to purchase it and pay even more money. My, my monthly fee to Linden Labs is already quite, quite large. Um, I was saying that it would be nice if they could give us that as a perk because we're basically the ones that are mostly supporting Linden Lab. I've definitely brought up in conversations, I have to be vague here because obviously I can't talk about our, my uh, conversations, but I've definitely brought up things like um, someone who pays X amount might get, you know, these things regardless of what their status uh, is and whatnot. So those are definitely conversations that are being looked into. Um, I don't know where they're going to go yet, but it's a fight that I will always keep fighting. Appreciate that. I'm just about to have to break down and buy Premium Plus because I'm just getting to the point where I can't, 70 groups isn't enough right now for the things I do. But, um, and you've been around it, long enough to remember when we had way, way, way less than that. No matter what the number is, we will fill that need. <laughs> you know that. Yes, but I, ha I do have a lot of responsibilities, um, all of which seem to require several, several groups. But I'm just saying that, you know, like I sat down and calculated how much money I've spent in Second Life, and I could have bought a house for that over the past 12, 14 years. So, I mean, it's, it's non-trivial amounts of money that some of us are spending, and then we're being treated not as well as people who spend an awful lot less, if you know what I mean. I definitely understand the frustration, and that's definitely something that I want to pay attention to, not necessarily on account age status, um, uh, but definitely on, you know, you're spending this amount regularly. What are some of the things that can come along with that? But one of the great things that might give you hope is the fact that I've definitely found that our upper echelon is incredibly receptive to those kinds of uh, ideas and uh, possibilities. Okay, thank you.
anytime. Oh, something that um, Joe just said just reminded me of, of, of a feature that, that I'm wondering if you guys are working on. Um, friends lists can get very large and unmanageable. Can we have folders, subfolders uh, for friends lists so that we can organize them? Right now it's just one list and there's nothing you can do about it. There's just a list, period. That would be a great feature request. Sorry, Wendy. I believe that has been looked into. Um, no news on it yet, but I know that is something I've heard about. All right. Thank you. And Liz, as far as uh, groups, yes, it is database, but if you look at all the different things that groups can do, that's where the scaling of the number of groups starts to become an issue. Yeah, we're about at the end of our time here today, so uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, we're here um, every fourth Wednesday at noon. Um, otherwise, you'll find us in all the usual support places. All the channels. You're starting to sound like me, Wendy. <laughs> I know it. Thank you, everybody, for coming. I really appreciate it. Take care, all.